Good afternoon to you. Still chucking it down. Just made it this morning. Around. Back in. Oh dear, dear. Ryan. After yesterday, yesterday was gorgeous. It was like an early summer day. It was fantastic. Gee whiz. Ryan. But there you go. Anyway, what I'm going to. Oh, I'm just going to show you this one that I put the uh, the on onto the other day, the last video anyway, and to uh, finish it off and i uh, well, finish the jute off anyway. Still to finish the end of the stick and give it a bit of soft out and whatnot, but it worked out alright. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a light rub once I've finished everything and uh, once the varnish, it's had another lick of uh, PVA and uh, make sure it's exterior PVA. I think a lot of them nowadays are, I tend to have separate ones, but I think they you get them both together, you know, do both. Well, what does outside, I'll certainly do inside, I suppose, like, you know, like that kind of thing. Right? But, uh, I got cleared out the handles. Oh. The wrens, oh. that photograph I put on at the, last, the end of the last video, that was, that was a third of them. About a third, anyway. <laughs> and I was vicious, I really, I was vicious. I mean, oh, what can you say? An obsession, an obsession. Anyway, when I was reading them out, I found this. Perfect. This is going to be part of uh, the latest. It's going to be, like I said, about four or five point antler stick. And so, uh, I, I knew I had it somewhere. And uh, it's, it's you. And I mean, they cut it out that day and I mean, they said to myself, that's perfect for. Perfect. They're all perfect for sticks when I see them later. <laughs> I get them back all. <laughs> I mean, you like take the bark off things. Uh, it's usually a, a good sign anyway. Like you know, when I start away, right? Uh, so I discovered that, and this is oh, perfect. And what I'm going to do in the next two or three videos is just run through finishes. This is a cane I've got to finish off for somebody, and I'm going to give you an idea on. on this is a burnish type thing. You'll not actually believe what's in it, but it works really well, and it gives you this type of finish, high polish, metallic look into it, uh, and you can keep it as light or as dark as you want, um, but it works out really well. I'm going to tell you what's in it, and you'll you'll go, hmm, yeah, but it works. It works fine. It's an old part of it's an old trick from sign writers many years ago. When they were supposed to be putting gold leaf on and not putting gold leaf on, and uh, <laughs> they would drink the money for the gold leaf and put this stuff on. But anyway, I've got the cane, I've, I've, it's had a coat of blackboard paint, and uh, which has dried off and I've rubbed it down, um, cleaned it off, so it's now ready to go. And we'll just, we'll instead of mentioning all the other things, there's a few chemicals in here too, and a few crystals and various things but we'll, we'll just pop through it but this is the stuff I put on and this is a paste I mix up um, in fact I probably need to put a little bit more white spirit in it I think it's just slackened off a little bit or tightened up a little bit I need slacking off it's just a shade uh, this is graphite powder use it for just a little Uh, they use it for uh, locks, for lubricating locks, especially brass, especially brass locks anyway. Uh, brass locks are, they don't do well with WD-40 and oils and things like that and we used to use a messy business. You've got to be really careful with it because you can make a hell of a mess with it. Um, but graphite, I use it for this, for burnishing and uh, it does extremely well but I mix it depending on how dark or light I want it I mix it with mustard powder <laughs> you'll say mustard powder <laughs> we're cooking tonight Jim we're cooking tonight Go. this believe it or not as I said to you a moment ago there was uh, sign writers uh, in particular when they were doing Put on gold leaf and things like that. A lot of uh, what was supposed to be gold leaf 
Ended up mustard powder and uh, a mixture of jessup and uh, varnish and various other things and whatnot. And uh, if you couldn't climb up to see it, certainly for signs and things like that and for bits off, it, uh, they used, <laughs> they had to use this like, you know. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think they still do it like, you know, but uh, anyway, so what you do is just use the brush and uh, coat it on. It won't look much than now until you get round to it. You live on with it. Try not to get it everywhere though because it does make a mess. Right? As I said you can, depending on how light you want to go, depends on how much mustard powder you put into it. But I just used it. In a way it helps bulk up, bulk up the, the graphite. Um, the graphite powder itself doesn't it doesn't do well with the like, mixing the little white spirit and that with it and mustard powder certainly helps and it does provide a, a depth to it. And it might need two coats, you just don't know. I'll need to I'll maybe manage without doing that. No, I'm not. I don't want it up on top of the got the varnish handle already with a bit of varnish on it, so. Just cover all the stick with it. Or as much as you can see anyway. It'll, when we do this anyway, I'll move it around. Because the next thing is just to let it dry just a moment or two. And then, but I'll, before, before we do that, I'll put this I'll put a bit of masking tape on. I don't want it working its way up into the into the onto the handle. I'll try and keep clean with this. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's terrible stuff you off your hands and all. As I say, we used to use it for all oh, the brass. Brass locks, it's very, very good for safes and things like that. We used it for a long time at all. Mm -hmm. The last safe I did, that was a carry on and a half, like you know. The chap, I'd put it on rollers, it came into the workshop. And the big fella that worked there at the time says, You'd be better off with a sack, Barry Jim. I said, don't think so. Oh yeah, I'll move on a sack, Barry. And he was adamant that he would, this he would do. I went, oh no, no, this is bloody kill yourself. Oh no. So it had rattled on that much. I said to the big lorry driver, I said, lift that off that. Go and get the sack, Barry, then. Try mean to fill his name. Oh, bloody gomer will actually tell you the truth. Right. And uh, I says, go and get the sack, Barry. So I went and got it. I says to Ian, what is it? I says, drop that bloody thing on this thing. Kill yourself, Jim. I says, well, he's convinced he's going to be able to wheel it out the workshop. <sighs> Not realising the sheer amount of weight. Concrete, of course, for what these bloody saves. Every bloody bit of kit. So Ian says, you sure? I said, oh, drop on the bloody sack, Barry. I've bloody bled for him. <coughs> so we did it, and uh, away he goes. He was a big lad, I mean, he was big. <laughs> we're standing back, I'm standing so back, if, if he manages to get this off the bloody deck, he'll go all, once a week comes on to him, onto the, hand, the, the handles of it. I said, we're going to go down the bloody deck with this, like, you know. But his little thing, was, he, he tried, he really tried, I mean, he gave it his best shot, and he <laughs> the page were bulging on the neck and everything. So anyway, I says, is that you finished then? I says, oh, I thought we'd been able to move it. I says, oh, there you go. I says, now take you and that sack bar again. Go away. I says, Ian, put that back on the bloody rollers and we'll roll that across the workshop. Boy. <coughs> Needless to say, he never came near me much again, like, you know, after that, like, you know. Anyway, once it's kind of at this point, we'll just take the... 
good clean cloth. Well, like this has already got the stuff on it from the last time. And then just work it up. As I say, it might need a, a second coat, but you can see once it's about to give it a bit of time to harden off anyway before you go in with a second coat. But it gives it a tremendous shine. As I say, the, the mustard powder makes it a bit translucent, gives depth to it. must have a shot at the old gold thing at some point, but I've never, I've got gold leaf there, but I only use it sparingly, the price of the bloody stuff nowadays, like, you know, right? but if, certainly if you're up close, you, you can't, uh, you can't use mustard powder. Right? As you can see, it starts to polish up really well. I probably, once it's all done, I'll give it a coat of lacquer. I'll just and I might see how it goes, but it gives you a really good finish. Uh, it gives you a really good finish. Especially in a cane anyway. I used it on one of these sticks just to try it out. It's that long since I've done it. But I better try this first because one of the stains is just, you know, I use these wood stains now. Oh, here's the, the bell already. Right in. So there you are. But if you're doing like a cane or you want a metallic looking, you just need. Try it out. Tiny mustard powder anyway, and thing with graphite. And uh, a wee go. Trial and error. See what works and what doesn't work. Just mix it up to suit yourself. A little bit of white spirit in it, not too much at all. Just enough to paste it. But yes, as you can see it's it's coming up nicely. Right. And when it dries off, it gives you that metallic look to it. Um, there's another thing for you to try. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I thought I'd maybe run through that, but there's, there's that one that I'd done with the stain the other day there. And you can see, you know, that's, that's, these are the simplest things to do a bit of wood stain, a bit of varnish, and uh, good protection for the stick. Um, and as I say, you can build it up, build it up slow. If you're not happy, you can just go in again and bring it up, up rub down, bring it up, and it adds depth to the whole thing. So you, you know, you you get a good finish, and then you get a protected stick. It gets into you know the bits and pieces, and it's an old weather thing. And it's fine, but uh, no, I'm happy with that. That's good. Anyway, that's one finish. The next one will do a different thing altogether. Uh, this one will, will, the next one will probably surprise you a little bit more in terms of, but this is uh, what the, ah, I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.